Oh, hey guys. Glad you could join me. As you can see, we're working on the next project. Let me come on down and uh, take you from the beginning. Okay guys, so as you saw, we were starting the install of this barn door tracking. And you might be wondering why we're putting a barn door track over some windows. We'll get into that a little bit later on, but I just wanted to first take you through some of the items that uh, come with the barn door tracking and uh, go ahead and get started getting it assembled. All right. Okay, so first thing we got is the tracking um, that the rails are going to run on. And uh, depending on the length of the tracking that you need, it might come in more than one section. And in my case, I needed to go 10 feet. So I have two five foot sections that I'm going to be using uh, for this uh, project. So we have those. The next thing that you're going to have is the spacers that go behind this tracking. So when this tracking is sitting up like this, you're going to have a bolt that's going through there and you're going to have the spacer going in there and then your wall. And that's going to give you the distance away from the wall that you're going to need for your barn door to be able to pass in front of your wall. There's washers that go in between here. In my application, uh, since I want this track to be a little bit farther away from the wall than uh, for a barn door, I'm going to add some additional washers to it before I put the spacer on. And that's going to give me a little bit added distance away from away from the wall. The next thing that goes on to the doors are the stops. Okay, and these will go on your ends. And basically, what that's going to allow is to keep your door from going off the end of the track. So by having that there. And you can adjust that to whatever length you need, and that'll keep the, the track uh, wheel from going off of the thing. It has two Allen keys at the bottom that you can tighten to whatever length that you want. In this particular case, since I have two pieces of tracking that I'm putting together, it comes with uh, an adapter to connect the two together. Now what's tricky with this is you have to keep in mind is that when you're putting this on here, you gotta keep in mind how your tracking is gonna be because you don't want this to be up top here because that will add thickness to it. And then when your wheel is going on, it's going to, won't go past that point. So you wanna make sure that it's put onto the bottom part of it down here. And this way, when your wheel is going on here, it will be able to pass completely. And it comes with the screws and the action keys. And then, of course, you have the wheels that your barn door will detach to and ride on these guides. And these are the bolts that would attach to your door, uh, whatever style door that you're gonna be using. Two other things that do come with it that we won't be using in this application, but if you are installing a barn door, these sit on top of the barn door, and this just prevents the door from coming off of its track. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then also the part that goes at the bottom of the barn door, and that just keeps your door from flapping against the wall in and out. It stays on that track as you're opening and closing it. All right, let's take a look at what these look like up on top of a door. Okay, so some of you guys might be familiar. Uh, this is my pantry. Yeah, I'm not sure if you've seen that video on the pantry build or not, but uh, I have a barn door here. This is what it looks like assembled. So you can see the stops on there that keep the door from going too far. And there's another one 
down at that end. And you can also see on top of the door here, the stops, and this just prevents the door from coming off of the track. It hits those and prevents it from coming off of the track itself. And then you can see the bushings in between. All right, so now some other things to keep in mind with it is the holes that we're gonna be using to anchor these tracks to the wall. And these are 16 inches on center, which is typically what an average home stud walls are, are 16 inches on center. So what you wanna do is make sure that you find your studs if you are putting this into a wall, say for you know a barn door. Um, if, you, if they don't align with your barn door, you can either move the tracking down some, depending on how much of the tracking you need and whether or not you need to cut some off at the end. Um, or if that doesn't work, uh, a lot of people will put a piece of uh, wood that'll go the whole length of their tracking, and that way it gives them something solid to uh, put in. It'll, they'll attach that piece of wood to the wall into those studs, and then they'll have a solid piece of wood coming all the way across that they'll be able to put you know, their anchor bolts in at any point. In my application, I have um, header blocks over the windows. So for the most part, I'm gonna be hitting into those. I think there's gonna be two holes that won't be, but that for the application that I'm gonna be using, that's not gonna be that important. Um, I'm not gonna be carrying the kind of weight that, uh, that a barn door would, uh, would have. So I'm not gonna worry about those two additional holes. I have plenty of plenty of anchor bolts that are going to go in and uh, will be uh, sufficient. So, all right, let's get back to the uh, the install of it. Okay, so the span that I have is uh, 124 inches, so I need to go 62 inches to find my center point. I would also want to take into consideration is making sure that the tracks are not going to be sitting on the window casing. So I've got to make sure that the track is high enough and I also don't want this hitting the ceiling itself. So I've got to see approximately where I want the wheel to be on there and how far away I need to leave the track. In this case the tracking is inch and a half. We want this to be somewhere about there. That's going to leave plenty of space for the tracking. So from the ceiling down, we're going to say an inch, three and a half inches down. And then that is about two and a half inches. So we're going to want that to start at three and a half inches down. Which would be right about in the center there. We're going to put that mark down there. So 
So that's going to be the top of our tracking. So I left the spacer off uh, because I want it to be up against the wall so I'll be able to mark all the other holes. So what I'm going to do is put my level line on it and then I'll mark the other holes that we need to drill. This one is not going to catch a stud, so we're not going to go ahead and drill that one. I'll show you what we're going to do there later on. Make sure we're still centered. Now that we've got that in attached, and I've got the holes drilled for our whole saw, uh, marked for where we need to drill the other holes to anchor. I want to attach this other bar to that. So I'm going to get this. I got to make sure I put this piece on there so that it's going to be on the bottom half, like I mentioned earlier. I'm just going to bring this half back down. And obviously if you have an extra person that can help you, you can assemble this down on the ground and have somebody help you hold it while you're attaching it to the wall.
Okay, we'll get that tightened up the rest of the way once we get it up.
right, I'll get this finished up and we'll be right back. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and attach the stops on the side. And uh, you have little Allen key screws. I'm gonna put it so that they're facing up so I don't necessarily see them. So I won't put it on this side where they'll be facing down. I'll stick this one on this side over here and the Allen keys will be facing upwards. going to cover up these holes if you were having to attach yet another piece of tracking. So we're just going to cover those holes up so we don't see them. And what I'm going to do for those two holes there that I'm not putting the lag bolts through is I'm just going to get um, a couple other lag, uh, lag nuts like this, but not lag, but with threaded on it and just put it through and put a bolt on the back so it'll cover up the hole and make it look consistent going across. But, so we're all done with that. And uh, next thing you want to know probably is why I'm putting this track up here. So let's go ahead and get into that and uh, we'll show you some examples. All right guys, um, we ran into some issues the other night uh, getting the uh, tracking put up. Um, it went all up fine, uh, but after I got it up I didn't like the distance between the wall and the track. It just uh, was quite narrow and I didn't think it was going to work very well for the application that we're going to be using it for. So uh, what I did was uh, originally, um, you know, we had just this bushing here and I had added a few washers to it to give us that distance. And like I said, that wasn't, uh, wasn't going to be enough. So I ended up finding something that I was going to be able to fit over this. And uh, so I found some uh, three quarter inch gas line and uh, that fits perfectly right over top of that. And then as you can see, it adds considerable amount of uh, depth that practically doubles the, uh, the distance away from the wall. So uh, that's what we're gonna do is uh, I ended up doing that. I ended up having to get a little bit longer lag bolts so that we can still get into the wood but we're going to go ahead and put those in. I'm almost done with that. It's the last one I have to do. So uh, we'll get this one finished and we'll get on to the next part of it. All right. All right, guys. So we're done with the tracking. And uh, you guys may be wondering what I plan on using it for. So let me just kind of explain a little bit what we have and, and how we got to this point. Um, originally, my... My wife, she wanted to clear up some of her counter space and we have a lot of plants and things um, on the countertops. So she uh, originally suggested that we put a hook on the, in between the windows to uh, hang our plants on. And uh, when we did this, uh, this room, there are no studs in the middle here. There's only studs towards the outer edges. And I wasn't real comfortable with putting a hook uh, 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 attachment in the center with just some drywall anchors. Uh, we considered putting a piece of wood across here to attach the hook thing to, but neither of us really uh, thought that was uh, the direction that we wanted to go either. So then we had considered putting eyelet screws in the ceiling over the windows. 
And uh, the more we talked about that, it's the same thing. It was just not the, the look that we were looking for. And the problem with really with both of those options are you're very limited. You know, you're either going to always have something here and here, or you're going to have something hanging from that eyelet screw there and there. So we wanted something that was going to be a little bit more flexible and uh, kind of tie in with the rest of the house. And since we do have a barn door uh, track right here with a barn door on it, we kind of thought maybe continuing that that line across was uh, was a good idea. So we went ahead and we've put this up here and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, just show you some different uh, different ideas that we had. And uh, if you guys uh, have any additional ones, feel free to put them in the comments. I'd be uh, interested to see uh, see what else you guys come up with. So let's go ahead and uh, and get started with uh, hanging some of these uh, uh, plants up and, and different things that we, we want to put in front of the windows. All right, so as you see, we've got some plants hanging up here. And I've just hung them directly on the uh, track bars for the, uh, for the door itself. Um, and these things can easily be moved if you want to maybe move these two over here in front of this window. You can just take this one and just bring it on over. Now we have them both in, in front of that window. You can hang them in front of the wall area as well. Okay, so one other thing I uh, just want to point out is if you're not, you know, liking this just plain bar style, um, you know, what I also did was just uh, cut out some wood, attach it to this. This can be stained, painted, whatever you want to do, make it any shape you want, uh, however big you want, um, and then do something like that uh, if you're not wanting just the plain look like that you could also take two of these things and maybe you have a sign or something that you want to attach you can attach it to both and, and then this will just you know track across uh, you know um, it'll track across the, the bar um, wherever you want it to go so that's just another idea so I look forward to uh, reading the comments and seeing what other ideas that uh, you guys have come up with and uh, this was a fun uh, video, just something kind of out of the blue, out of the ordinary. And uh, some people might like it, others might not. But uh, for us, I think it's going to work out just fine. 
and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.